ahead and open up your glove box. You want to go ahead and remove the glove box door in order to do so. There's two little tabs right on this side here. I'm going to use a small pair of pliers. I'm just going to bend these tabs in a little bit. And it's going to release a button on the inside. Release that. This is going to remove our little knob right here or our stopper. Now you're going to find relays right here. There's a red one here and a blue one. I'm going to go ahead and remove the blue one. There's just a little retainer. So we're going to use our pick. And go ahead and release the locks on this here. And pull this relay out. With the fuel pump relay removed, we're going to go ahead and start the vehicle, let it run until it dies out. In our case, it's not going to start up for us. Our fuel pressure has been relieved. Let's go ahead and proceed. Let's next go ahead and open up our gas cap door. We're going to remove our gas cap. This will assist in releasing any pressure from the tank itself. Now on the lower cushion of the back seat, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt. It is right here. So probably about an inch and a half over from the split of the pad here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that 10 millimeter bolt. Once you pull that out, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our seat. I'm gonna to have to try and lift up on the corners here and pull out the back cushion like so. And go ahead and remove this from the vehicle and set it aside. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, I'm gonna remove the four screws holding the cover on here. Go ahead and lift up our cover here. Right underneath, it's gonna be a connector right on the top of the fuel pump unit itself. There's a little pinch tab on the front side of it. Just go ahead and pinch that and disconnect the harness. Go ahead and set that aside. We're gonna be accessing this unit underneath with this lock ring around here. Obviously we have all kinds of debris. Go ahead and clean that up before we proceed. Go ahead and take your fuel line. We're just gonna tuck that on the side there. It might pop out on you. We're gonna use our tool here to remove our lock ring. Might take you a few moments here to get this set up in place to get it where it needs to be. Make sure your fuel line has enough flexibility for you to get your tool around it.
remove the lock ring. There was an O-ring seal in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just use our pick to pry up on this gently. the tank. And you want to have a catch can or a bucket nearby. So you can go ahead and get this into it without getting gasoline all over the place. fuel pump and sending unit out of the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and start to disassemble. I'm gonna use a small pick. I'm gonna separate our hinged point here. I'm gonna pop that off. Repeat for the other side. separate the bottom from the top half here, releasing those little clips. There's a few of them around the perimeter. Just work your way around. There's a little hose right here on the side. We're gonna go ahead and release the clip from this. Slide this off. This will expose our fuel sock or strainer, and then our pump is right here. I'm going to disconnect the pump harness right here, press it on this little tab, and work the connector off. Now on the fuel feed and the connector side, you're gonna use your pick and we're gonna release the collar here.
I'm gonna go ahead and remove this little lock collar right here. Just gonna use a small pair of cutters, get underneath, and just pop that right off like that. Using your pick, go around the perimeter. I'm gonna release the pressure from these clips. There's three of them. Careful not to break any of these tabs. Let's go ahead and work our sock or filter unit off. side of the pump, slide off this lock collar. Grab your new pump, slide the cap off, gonna put our lock collar on. Don't forget to pop this cap off here. Line up the sock, push us in. Here's your new supplied clip. This will go on there. You can use your pliers your cutters and just press that down. Lock that into place. Take your pump unit, slide this back in the cage. Line up the unit. And push these together again. And make sure that all three of your tabs are clipped in over here. When installing this collar here, there's two tabs on either side. One here and one here. This is a wider tab. This is a more narrow tab. You're gonna match it up onto this here. There's a narrow notch on this side or tab lock. And there's a wider one here. So when installing this, slip it over, match it up. Go ahead and press it down into the retainer clips. And lock it into place. I'm gonna reconnect our fuel pump harness. Clip that in. We wanna make sure that the harness is routed in the right location here. I'm gonna go ahead and work our fuel line on. Push this up. Now there's a rubber O-ring there, so it'll probably require a little bit of pressure. Snap that into place. I'm gonna take our bottom cover here with the sunning unit. And work this up and around. Snap that onto the bottom of the tub. Line this up. And go ahead and snap everything together. Just go ahead and reconnect the upper portion. Line that up. Push that on, line this up, push that on. Now we're ready for reinstallation. Now you wanna go ahead and take your unit here. You wanna get the float down inside first. So drop that down and in. We'll go ahead and 
work the rest of the unit down the inside. You have your rubber o-ring gasket here we're going to get that installed on the tank itself first so work that down and around all right once that's lined up and set in there position your fuel pump sending unit get our lock ring set there press the unit down get the lock ring started i want to be careful with this not to cross thread it so take your time with it Go ahead and use our tool to tighten that up. Right. Once that's snug, grab your fuel line, line this up, snap that back on, make sure that's locked in a place, and it is. Take our fuel pump harness, line this up. Press into so here at click. Line up your cover. Install your screws. Now installing your seat bottom, you're gonna have these little metal loops that go into these tabs here. There's one on each side. I'm gonna get those lined up and then we'll pull our seat belts up and set this in. Once that's locked in, go ahead and install your 10 millimeter bolt into the back. Install your fuel pump relay. Okay, install our glove box stop. And uh, bring the glove box up and in. Put the stop in behind. Press our lock tabs in. There you have it. Once you're all set, go ahead and start up the vehicle. Might take a couple times of priming the fuel system.
install the gas cap, close the fuel door.